Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing numeric data. This is standard 6.12a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have two different types of data being represented that we need to match. We've got a line plot, sometimes called a dot plot. And then we have our stem and leaf plots over here. We need to match the line plot to the stem and leaf plots. Well, first, we need to understand how this line plot works. It's kind of like a bar graph and a pictograph put together. So let's just pull the data out of this line plot first. So you see we've got 16 and 20, so we're, we're skipping a number right there. So let's say it's 18 because we're counting by twos there. And you see there's two X's, so each X represents a time that that number shows up in the data set. So we've got 18, and we've got 18. I'm going to list 18 twice because there's two X's. There's a little number in between the 18 and 20, so we'll just call it 19. And then starting at this point right here, we've got a 20. And we've got another spot in between. We're going to call that 22. And 24, we've got a 26. We've got a whole bunch of blanks in between, and that's fine. We'll just leave those as blanks. And then we get all the way up to, we've got to figure this one out first, between 28 and 32. So that's going to be 30. So in between 30 and 30. Two is going to be that 31, but there's three of them because there's three X's. And then I've got a 32. This is going to be a 34. So here's my data set right here. I've got 18, 18, 19, 20, 22, 26, 31, 31, 31, 34. The reason I wrote it like this is because this is very similar to how a stem and leaf plot works. So the key to any stem and leaf plot is to look at the, the key down at the bottom, and it's going to let you know what it represents. So the stem is going to be the tens place. In this case, so like 20, it's going to be 2 in the stem, a 0 in the leaf, which means a stem is the tens, and the leaf is the ones place. So it just makes it a little bit more expedient if you have quite a few numbers within the same tens group. So this right here, Let's take a look at this right here. We've got 1 in the stem and then an 8 and an 8. So that's going to be 18 and 18 because this 1 works with this 8 and then also works with this 8. So it's not 188, it's 18, 18. So this 2 is going to work with a 0, 0, 2, 6. So it's going to be 2, 0, 20. Another 2, 0, 20. A 2, 2. And then a 2, 6. So you see we're close, but we're already, we already know this one's going to be incorrect because we're missing a 19. We've got two 20s. But let's just go ahead and finish it out. We've got 31, 31, 31, and then 33 rather than 34. So definitely not A. But that's how that stem and leaf plot works. So let's take a look at this B right here. So we've got a 1, 7, 17. Another 1, 7, 17, 18. So that's not going to work, but let's go ahead and finish this out. 21, 25. We've got 330s rather than 331s. So really, we might get this wrong if we can't read this, the line plot correctly. So that's not going to work. So what are we going to do with C? Well, let's look at C, and I'll put that right here. C has got 18, 18, 19. Looks good. So it's got 20, 22, 26. That's looking good. So, so far, we're good right here. And then it's got 31, 31, 31, and then 34, because you've got a 3 with three ones and then a 4. So that is looking good here. And we can see that D is going to be wrong because it only has an 18 and a 19. It needs two 18s. So our answer is C.